Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will see how to create a connection profile for control for SAP business objects and use it in a job. Before we begin, make sure the control for SAP business objects is installed on at least one control agent. You also want to make sure the correct version of the plugin is installed in the Enterprise Manager client. Finally, you'll need to log in to SAP business object environment. The control for SAP Business Objects profile is defined in the Configuration Manager. Here we see that Control Module is installed on the selected agent along with other modules. We also see that version 900 is installed. To create a profile, right click on the Control for SAP Business Objects and select Connection Profile Management. To create a new profile, click on the plus sign. We'll create a new one called SAP BO Test. Go ahead and click on Next here. On this panel, we need to provide the login details. Your SAP Business Objects Administrator should be able to provide you with the details. Also, you have a login to a system. You can use that as well. The web server host name should be the server where the SAP Business Object Central Management Console is running. You should be able to get many of the connection details from the sign-in page. Here we see in the URL that the web server host is clm-pun-025947 and is running on port 8080. If you don't see port numbers in the URL, the port is the standard 80. In the first input box, we see the system ID. This is the typical format where the host name is followed by a colon and then the central management port. 6400 is the default used by many systems. Uh, for cluster systems, you may see the system defined as at symbol followed by the host name. Some systems may use an alias for the central management server. Now that we have the connection details, let's go back to the configuration manager. Let's put the web server host name we use on the CMC login page. The port number was 8080. The port may also be 80 if it's been changed. Enter the system name exactly as we found it on the CMC login page. Let's enter your login details. Then click on Next. On this panel, you can add operating system users that you want to allow access when a report output is set to file system. We won't define one here, so we'll click on Next. For the connection configuration, keep the defaults. You may change them at a later time if BMC Technical Support recommends different settings. On the summary panel, click on test to see if we got everything right. It looks good. So let's go ahead and save it. Let's close this and then let's go back to the workload automation client to define a new job. Let's go to planning. We'll create a new blank workspace. Let's go ahead and look for the SAP business object job and we'll drag it over here. Let's open this job and we'll scroll down and change the host to where the CMS was installed. Let's scroll back to profile. Click on this button here. And we'll go ahead and load in the profile that we just created. Go ahead and click on this to browse for reports. We'll drill down this folder here. We'll go here. And let's go ahead and pick this report here. Once the report is loaded, you may see optional or required parameters below. Once those parameters are filled in, 
you should be able to run this report. Thank you for watching. This concludes this control solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.